Hey there YouTube, what's going on? It's Adam here with Retro Repairs and today I've got another repair video for you. Um, what I've got here is a copy of Super Mario Kart that I picked up recently um, and it just doesn't work. So we're going to take a look at this, see what happens with it when I try and use it and then uh, see if we can't fix this guy. So let's, let's just test her out. Alright, so green screen which is not normal. And then it just hangs here, so I'm getting some action, but something's very clearly wrong. So let's uh, let's crack this open, and see what we've got. All right, so opening this guy up, just two uh, small security screws at the front. Right, let that go. I should give this a bit of a wipe down. Okay, that's better. So let's open that up. And uh, all right, so let's uh, zoom in so you can see this as well as I can. So checking out down here, there's quite clearly been some moisture to this. Oh wow, in front of it too. So all of these, there's some corrosion on all of that. All right, so we got uh, got my work cut out for me. So we need to clean this first and foremost, um, so that I can really see what I'm looking with. Looking with. Um, gonna also replace this battery as it's probably pretty old. Well, it is pretty old. There's no probably about it. So let's uh, just get started, I guess, with some alcohol and go to town on scrubbing up this board. Okay, so looking better already. Amazing what just a uh, toothbrush and a little bit of rubbing alcohol can do. So let's put that away. And um, I think first thing we need to do is check out these traces down here. Um, as you can see, there's some corrosion on these. So there's a good chance that we're not getting connectivity from the pins down here up to wherever these traces are supposed to go. So let's use the old multimeter and check it out. So starting at the bottom here, just go up to a point, you should hear a beep. Okay, so I think I've found a break here. Maybe not. Let's try to scrape back just a bit of this trace a little further up. And test it. Nothing. So this one I am having a problem with. Let's uh, zoom in so that we can see it better. Okay, so where was I here? From here. But no continuity up to there. 
So somewhere along here, there's definitely a break. So what we need to do is scrape back this corrosion on this trace here and the solder mask as well. And then basically just gonna run a new piece of copper wire over top of this trace. Okay, so let's test this again. I'm just try and pinpoint exactly where this break is, so. Okay, so just a couple quick things that I'm gonna do to prep this uh, spot here. So I have some very fine sandpaper, which I just wanna kind of buff everything up a bit, get any of this old corrosion off. Taking a blade, just kind of scrape away any residual solder mask along this trace. And then clean it up with some more isopropyl alcohol. Okay, so now I'm just going to dump some flux on there. Gonna clean my soldering iron tip and Let's add some solder to it. So, I do want to add a little bit to this pin here. Just try and make sure it's going to have a good surface to bond to. And then mark my way up this trace. The solder will help to um, kind of just guide, or the uh, flux, sorry, will help to guide the solder where it needs to be. And then take my wire, tack it in at the top. Following that trace all the way down. Oops. Okay, then grab the cutters, cut that, and clean again. So that is good, all the way up. Clean continuity should go somewhere up here, I think. Right there, oops, sorry, that was out of frame. So let's test this. So let's test this continuity now, going from here all the way up. And should connect right there. Should not be touching any of these adjacent pins, so that is repaired. So let's uh, let's try it out, see if that was the uh, the trick. Okay, so now that that's all been cleaned up, let's throw back in the shell. and see if it works. You can say hi to Kona. She can hear the repair going on, so she wanted to come visit, but looks like we are good. Let's do a little quick test. So the sprites are loading properly. Just need to make sure that the track rotates. That looks pretty good. Definitely, so 
I would say we've successfully repaired that. Now, obviously the case still needs to be cleaned a little bit, but that's a job for another day. So um, that's it for this particular video. So hopefully you're able to learn something from this and able to repair your own uh, um, Super Nintendo games. So thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think. Um, you'll get notifications about all the new uploads that I make. And uh, like the video if you liked it. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.